hello friends welcome to machine learning the future course so in this part we'll be looking at random forest regression so what exactly is the random forest regression so random forest regression is based of these four steps first step you pick a key random points of your training set which will be your data set in this case and you build a decision tree out of those points and in the next step you choose the number of trees you want to build and repeat steps 1 and 2 so let's say you want to build 50 number of trees so we'll again and again repeat the steps 1 and 2 to create number of trees so pick key random points from data set build a decision tree again pick key random from data set again build a decision tree likewise you need to build 50 number of trees and then for any kind of new data point make each one of your entries predict the value of y so this will be a very interesting thing because in the last regression model in the decision tree regression model we actually created only one tree which consists of many kind of segments which are called as leaf and that predicted the value of y but in this case there will be a forest of trees which will predict the values for y so even if one algorithm or if you can say even if these algorithms are more stable it will really impact only one tree but not a forest of trees so when if one entry goes wrong there will be a forest of trees and there will be average of all those values which will be predicted so let's look at the random forest regression so as you can see yes so this properly predicts our random forest regression so random forest regression the forest of number of trees which are decision trees which consist of various kinds of leaf and for detection or for any kind of a new data point prediction make each one of your entries predict the value of y so each one of your tree values will have its value which will be predicted and that average of all those values will be your y value which will be your dependent variable value so let's look at machine learning for random forest regression in the next part thank you very much